Good evening Freedom Church. So I thought I would do you a short video this week just outlining again the vision that Mike and I feel God has given us for Freedom Church in 2023. It was really great to be gathering together last Sunday. Um, it was fabulous to see the church packed full of people who had come out to just hear the vision and hear where God is leading us. Um, it was great to reconnect. Um, it was great to envision uh, you as our church. And it was really wonderful for us to carve out some opportunity to dive in and um, yeah, connect with God and make space for the presence of Jesus to come and fill each one of us at the very beginning of this year. So on Sunday, what we shared with you is a little bit of the journey that Mike and I have gone on this past year, um, the different places that God has led us. And I explained how it's been a bit like a, a winding road down a mountain track uh, with lots of twists and turns in 2022, where God has just dropped in these timely reminders of calling us and ushering us into his presence. So as we've begun to um, pray for the church for this year and as we've begun to seek him, God has just reminded of these us of these encounters that we've had at these various places when we've been to David's tent or we've uh, been to wildfires and big church day out and when we've had conversations with people that we um, really respect as our mentors and people that speak into our lives prophetically and God has really led us and reminded us that it's really one important to be rooted which is what we have done and really looked at and wrestled with and chewed over this past year as church. But actually something that God has placed within Mike and I is this desire to see his people connect in um, deeper and broader and um, supernatural ways for us to press into the presence and what it is to... Um, live our lives from a place of listening in and leaning in to Jesus, um, from that place of um, worship, from that place of prayer, from that place of listening to the word of God and um, how that radically impacts our families and our workplaces and our church and our whole entire lives. And so as we've begun to pray and ask God for a scripture for this year, the scripture that God has given us and the scripture that I outlined to everybody was in Luke chapter 10. And it's a really well known passage. Um, we're very familiar with it. It is the story of where Jesus visits Mary and Martha. And I'm just going to read it to you now. So it's Luke chapter 10, verse 38 onwards. It says, as Jesus and the disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. And I'm going to come back to that verse in just a moment. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. But the Lord said to her, my dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. And Mary has discovered it and it will not be taken away from her. And the key verse that we feel is, um, for us as a church this year, as we step into 2023, is verse 39. Her sister Mary sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he taught. Now, we often think about that passage and we look at Mary and Martha and we think, Martha, she's the one doing everything. Um, she's wanting to create this amazing feast for Jesus and welcome him and in one sense we can completely identify with her as Mary sits 
at Jesus's feet and seemingly does nothing, um, but sits there. And from Martha's perception, that's what she does. But that isn't what she does. She doesn't just sit there and do nothing. Her and her sister have made space for Jesus. But Mary decides to go and listen in, to stop all the stuff, to stop doing all the things and sit at the feet of Jesus. And she doesn't just sit there and goes, oh, isn't it nice to be with Jesus? She doesn't just have a nice conversation. She leans in and she listens to what Jesus has to say. And so that verse we feel is going to be key for this year. It's going to be a bit of a marker for what we as Freedom Church do this year and how we respond to Jesus. What we're going to first do is I kind of on Sunday, I shared with you three L's and the first L was lacuna. Now, lacuna is this verse, um, not verse, word that I've discovered um, a few weeks ago. And uh, a lacuna in a text or a manuscript or something like that is an intentional gap um, or somewhere something where an extract has been taken out and there is space. And so as Freedom Church, we are going to lacuna. We're going to create intentional spaces. We are going to create intentional gaps where we invite Jesus into that space. Like Martha and Mary did, they invited Jesus into their space. They created space for him in their home. And that's what we feel God is calling us to do initially, is to create greater space. And then I said our second word is listen. We're going to listen to Jesus. We're going to learn what it is to listen to the word of God, to listen to uh, what the Holy Spirit is speaking into our lives. We're, we're going to work through that and listen in um, to, the, to the voice of heaven for our lives. We're going to learn what it is to sit, to pause, to create space and then listen to Jesus. And then the third L is we're going to lean in. Mary, she sat and she listened, but she listened to what Jesus was teaching. There was an activeness to what she was doing. And uh, that requires us to lean in. And um, as we lean in, we're going to hear greater truths. We're going to, um, I really believe and feel that we're going to um, receive equipping and receive the spirit in amazing, powerful and supernatural ways which is going to enable us um, to, to go and do and be the disciples that God has called us um, in greater measure, to bring about his kingdom around us. So that church is our vision, initially for 2023. It's based on Luke chapter 10, verse 39, where it speaks of Mary sitting at the feet of Jesus and listening to the words that he teaches. And we're going to lacuna. We are going to listen and we are going to lean in this year. And Mike and I are really excited about what that looks like as church, what it's going to create, um, what Jesus and the Holy Spirit and Father God is going to put into that space that we create for him. Um, the encounters that we're going to have and the moments where vision is um, restored in people, dreams are restored in people, where hope is restored, where people um, are going to be encouraged and strengthened in their faith. It's going to be a really great year and we hope that you join us in this. So God bless you church, thank you so much to those that came along on Sunday for our Vision Sunday. Um, we encourage you, we invite you to dive in with us um, and be a part of us on this journey in this next year. God bless and take care and we will see you soon.